Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hurricane Watch Team is here with another video today. We're going to be talking about our 2024 Atlantic hurricane season predictions. So, look at their sea surface temperatures, anomalies. These are currently what we're looking at. As you can see, we have more higher, warmer than average temperatures here. Kind of like this, kind of like a horseshoe you kind of can say here. Warmer than average in the Caribbean, Gulf of Mexico, main development region. But also here, we have cooler than average here off um, the north and to the west of the Iberian Peninsula. This is the exact setup that we look for when dealing with very active hurricane seasons. This is the setup telling us we're going to have an above average hurricane season. All right, so this is for August, September, and October, everything is warmer than average. Again, off the northeast coast, we do have cooler than average. That's also something that we look for. But overall, the entire North Atlantic hurricane, North Atlantic Ocean is above average. The Caribbean is above average. The Gulf of Mexico is above average. Everything is above average, which tells us that we are expecting a, a hurricane season that's gonna be worse than, than usual. And we are dealing with a La Nina, and just the absence of an El Nino tells us that there'll be above average hurricane season. But we have a La Nina. So we're also going to talk about that and get into that. Speaking of that La Nina, you can see just how strong that La Nina actually is. Look at these. We're seeing one, two, two and a half. Some areas as low as three and a half degrees below average in this La Nina. This La Nina this is the area of La Nina. We're getting into that La Nina stage and we expect this to just get a more stronger and more better sign of a La Nina as we get into hurry as we get into the hurricane season June July and August and eventually September and we could see storm we are expecting to see storms to quickly ramp up as we move into that time period so again these are the sea surface temperatures anomalies this is 1984 the 2009 model this is dealing with temperatures departure from normal so look at the look at the North Atlantic Ocean right now we got temperatures most of the area we're seeing above one between one and two degrees above average some areas a little bit lower some areas a little bit warmer but generally we're seeing one to two to one one and a half degrees above average that is much warmer than what we are usually see by this time so the temperature are already warmer and we got that la nina already developing and again this is valid through august september and october 2024 so this is already signs that we're seeing that La Nina is developing and we are expecting to see um, above average hurricane season for this year. All right, so, and again, precipitation wise, how much moisture is there gonna be available in the atmosphere? All right, as you can see here, lots of moisture, especially in the Caribbean, Southern Atlantic, which tells me that there'll probably be high pressure here. There may be a very strong North Atlantic high, which is causing a lot of these storms down here to be pushed into the Caribbean. We're talking about Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica, Cuba, Bahamas, Mexico there, Nicaragua, Honduras, um, pushing into the Gulf of Mexico also. So we could see storms relatively staying farther south, but also with this moves, let's just say the high pressure moves off to the north or just weakens a little bit, we will see those storms move north and go up the, up the coast a little bit or something that we could see with Elsa that we saw um, a few years ago. Instead, we saw it just kind of move through and, and kind of go on the Gulf side and make landfall there in Florida. So we could, it just depends on how high the pressure is, uh, how strong the high pressure is. But overall, we do expect the storms to be in the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico mainly this year. Again, like I was saying, that high pressure, that Bermuda high, that North Atlantic, the, A, the Azores high pressure, keeping all these storms farther to the south. Now, these are our mean, mean sieves mean sea level pressure anomalies. Blues being below, reds being above. So, now with everything that we have talked about, this is the Hurricane Watch Team's official 2024 North Atlantic Hurricane Season predictions. Our prediction is 20 to 25 named storms, averages 22 and a half, out of the 20 to 25 named storms, 9 to 13 of those will be hurricanes. Again, our average is 11. And out of those 9 to 13 hurricanes, 4 to 6 of those will be major. Our average is 5. So we do expect this to be above average this year 
Um, but this is our 2024 North Atlantic Hurricane season predictions. Very, very much higher than we've ever really seen in the past. Based on the sea surface temperatures are warmer, we have a La Nina developing. We have all the signs that are there for a, for a, for a major hurricane season to take shape. And we are anticipating that is the case this year. So, risk of tropical cyclones. What are the potential that we could see tropical cyclones? Again, the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, all those states will be possible or expected. And areas up the uh, majority of the mid mid Atlantic coastline, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, even Virginia could certainly see some of those uh, hurricanes and tropical storms make landfall there also. But mainly the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. So all the countries there in the Caribbean are are expected to see storms, and tropical cyclones moving there. Um, and as you can see, it's blue up here. It's below average, mainly because of that Azores High is going to be so prominent. And it's going to be keeping all these storms south and pushing all these storms westward into the Caribbean and Gulf of Mexico. So, tropical cyclone impact risk. Again, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, the Panhandle of Florida. Again, we had Hurricane Michael make landfall there. Uh, you had Louisiana where we had Hurricane Laura. Uh, make landfall there in 2020. You have that t Texas coastline. Houston has not been hit by a hurricane in almost, what has it been, 16 years? Only 16 years in September, the last hurricane to make a direct landfall in Southeast Texas was Hurricane Ike in 2008. The last hurricane to impact us was Hurricane Nicholas 2021, I believe. 2021 was Hurricane Nicholas. That, uh, here at the, at, uh, the head, Hurricane Watcher headquarters, we, we saw a wind gusts of 47 miles an hour here. Um, but that's, these are the regions that we're expecting. Again, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Bahamas, high risk for Bahamas, high risk for Cuba. Uh, pretty moderate risk, pretty, not weak, but a pretty moderate risk there for Jamaica. Moderate risk there for portions of northern uh, countries of South America. All right. Uh, and even, uh, you know, you got the Bahamas there. And even Mexico, again, parts of the Mexico could see a high risk for hurricanes too. And tropical cyclones making landfall. Nicaragua, Honduras, Belize even. All these areas need to watch out and prepare themselves for the potential of a storm. And even up in the northeast in Canada, you get some of these storms moving up the east coast. They can intensify or they're strong and they start weakening as they make their way north. Nova Scotia, remember Hurricane Dorian in 2019? Y'all were under hurricane warnings. All right? So, just, just be prepared for these storms, be ready, understand what is occurring, understand what the forecasts are saying. These aren't, like, created for views. These are forecast models. Okay, these aren't created for views. These are actual forecast models that are putting these out here. So, something that we want to, uh, you know, watch out for and uh, ensure that we have an idea on what's going on. So, again, the Azores High is really to know what's going to be Pushing all these storms, controlling where these storms go. We could see some storms on these Azores that could be much stronger than usual. And we see a lot of these storms moving farther west and to the Gulf of Mexico and affecting Mexico and some of those other countries. But if it's a little bit weaker, we could see some affecting more like Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Q uh, Puerto Rico, affecting Florida and the East Coast. So it's all going to depend on the circumstances at that time. But these are all the forecast tracks that we are expecting to see during this hurricane season. So some of our other hurricanes that we've seen, other hurricane seasons that we've seen in the past, the first one we want to talk about is 2020. We had a lot of storms that year. All right, more storms than any other year on record, okay? We had 30 named storms, 14 hurricanes, 7 major hurricanes. All right, 2020, we had Hurricane Laura, which made landfall there in Cameron, Louisiana with 150, miles, 150 mile an hour winds. All right, we had a lot of storms that year. They were all over the place. Now, 2010... A little bit different. We didn't have as much. We had 19 named storms, 12 major, 12 hurricanes, five major hurricanes. Not as bad, but there were a lot more. As you can see here, there were a lot more out to sea storms, but also a good amount of in the Gulf of Mexico. That's something else we really need to talk about. And 1998, or 14 storms, 10 hurricanes, three major hurricanes. All right. Again, we had some of these storms coming into the Gulf of Mexico. Some of them impacting. Florida and others going out to sea and up the East Coast. 1926. Now note that this is more like that is likely more storms have occurred along this season 
because they were undiscovered due to lack of proper data at that time. So this was 1926. This is all they, were, they have recorded. Now again, we had some storms in the Gulf of Mexico. We had some going into Florida and in, in the East Coast there even. And so we really need to, you know, a, lot, a lot of these even out to sea. So it's something we need to watch out for. Some the development in the Caribbean during the earlier season part of the season. So we really need to watch out and have an idea. All these seasons are similar and we could see some of these seasons to be similar to what we had this year. Now again, 1878, um, this is again what they have recorded. A majority of storms, a lot of them went out to sea, but a lot of them also impacted Mexico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Puerto Rico, Florida, Georgia, it actually looks like it's made landfall in Georgia. Georgia has a very small coastline. South Carolina, North Carolina. All right. Now I want to talk. I have to give y'all an idea what our names are going to be. So here are our names that we're going to have. Pause the video. Take a screenshot. These are our our vid our videos. Here are our names for the 20, 2024 North Atlantic hurricane season. Now, in summary, we expect there to be an active hurricane season ahead. The Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico region are going to be under threat. Ensure that you are adequately prepared for an active hurricane season. Make sure you're lo following your local weather office for the best information on how to stay safe. Make sure you have all your necessities ready, prepared, and you have a place safe to go if you are, in, or if you are in fact ready and prepared if you have to evacuate during a hurricane and vice versa if you are going to be staying make sure you have what you need make sure you have water you have all your medication you have uh, food that's not just going to spoil because the power is going to go out make sure you make sure you're ready make sure you're prepared make sure you have everything that you need again if you have animals make sure they have water make sure they have food if you have kids make sure they have their medication if they I have their water. Make sure you have their food. Make sure everyone has everything that they need. Everyone needs at least one gallon of water. So, what are some of the things you're going to expect from the Hurricane Watch team? We're going to be having our own tropical cyclone model con con consensus coming out. We're going to be on air. We're going to be tracking these storms. We're going to have radar. We're going to be tracking the um, Air Force Reconnaissance aircraft. We're going to be on air. We're going to be doing all these things uh, and so much more to expect also. And if you want even more, speaking of that, uh, make sure you follow us uh, on Patreon where we post more exclusive content over there. So, so what are some of the ways that you can support us? Feel free to, subs uh, to, to, to subscribe to us on YouTube. Become a patron for only a dollar a month. Join our Discord server. Follow us on Twitter. Thank you all for watching. This has been the Hurricane Watch theme. Your source for cycle information. This has been the 2024 North Atlantic hurricane season predictions. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out.